My name is Francis J. Caputo. I go by J. I am a leadership facilitator for the National Student Leadership Conference. So last night in the opening ceremony, we were discussing what leadership is. That eventually led to this idea that leadership is fundamentally about relationships. So to test that theory, I had them do an exercise called eye contact. It's fairly simple. They just spend some time directly making eye contact with one other person, a colleague in the program, but it's done in silence. So it's challenging and it's a little uncomfortable and I talk with them about what it's like to be in this experience and, and what that has to do with their, how they're able to connect with people in life and build relationships in life and as a, as a way to better understand what it might mean to develop leadership. Today was focused on personalities in terms of behaviors and attitudes and ways of thinking and ways of communicating and at the same time better understand the same for other people. Uh, then you just you have more capacity to relate to a broader range of individuals. We focus on personalities, but we make a lot of tie into the idea that leadership is about relationship, and so personalities, of course, is highly relevant to relationships. I'm Hannah, and I'm from Colorado. I'm Paul, and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. My name is Jack from East Bay, Connecticut. My name is Grace, and I am from Dallas, Texas. I have been put into the category of a koala which I'm told is someone who listens very well, someone who is able to let others speak, which is a strong point and a weakness. I am a peacock. I'm outgoing, I'm a people person, I'm creative. Uh, we get distracted easily and uh, yeah, we just don't get much done if we're all working together. I'm a lion and like the most like basic way to describe it is like a controller. So like I like to like be in control of situations. Very like decisive, like to the point, like task oriented and like extroverts. I tend to like over control sometimes, but just really like taking control of situations. I was picked to be an owl because Usually I keep to myself, but I get a lot of work done. Not really be creative, but I find good ideas from what I can. Well, I learned you can be a good mix no matter where you are. You can have someone with a really quiet personality who's really intelligent, but you still want to find the best in them. You need everyone, all four characteristics, in order to like run a company or any just a group in general so successfully. I think that being more than one personality type really allows for somebody to relate to different people better. Having multiple traits from all the different animals will help you in a group setting and just like on a one-to-one -one basis I think as well. I would definitely say just like trying to be more aware of other people's feelings because I think that's something that a lot of lions like forget. We tend to just like be obnoxious, I think is the, the best word to use it. And it just like throws other people off and makes them not like us or respect us, which can be a bad thing because if they don't respect us, then they're not going to listen to our ideas, which is what we ultimately want.